Hey, it's Clay. Hope you guys are doing well. I want to do a little vlog here and just kind of talk to you guys for a second. Uh, I've played a lot of golf here. Spring is kind of in full swing. It's been some great weather. We've actually hit 80s here in Iowa. And so I've been playing a lot of golf. Uh, I played 18 on Thursday and I just played 18 here today on Saturday. So that's uh, about as much golf in a two or three day stretch as I've played in a while. And um, I guess I just want to talk a little bit about swing changes and ups and downs because um, so I've been working on the swing change now since last winter really um, and now it's I guess April um, and you know I, I definitely would say that I've made some progress and I can do things that I couldn't do before but I also would say that you know looking at my I had some videos taken of this my swings while I was out playing rounds on the course and um, certainly I'm reverting back to my old habits um, you know, this is really the first couple of weeks that I've even been out on the course. I really haven't had much chance to hit range balls. Um, so a lot of the work on my swing has been done either in my basement in a, into the net or in my backyard into the hitting net. And so um, I guess I just want to acknowledge that progress with the swing change isn't necessarily, you know, a linear progression of progress. It's kind of sometimes you could take two steps forward and then one step back. and. Uh, it can be kind of frustrating at times, and you know, right now I'm, I've played a lot of golf, and it's been really enjoyable, but um, it's been tough. And so, based upon that, I, I'm curious to hear your guys' thoughts. Those of you that have gone through some swing changes, you know, how do you go about taking these things to the course, right? So, in my mind, in my experience, you know, you you have the ability to kind of, you you have to do things in stages, right? So you start off with just the ability to make the move in slow motion. Or, or you know, just just the ability to, to learn how to move your body in a different way, and then and then second, you know, maybe the, putting your club in your hand and kind of speed it up, and then third, you know, you need to be able to hit a golf ball. And for me, that was kind of into a net, it, you know. But hitting into a net versus hitting on the range, so there's even a change there. And then lastly, is going from the range to the course. So um, we're still working on it, but uh, not perfect yet. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know your thoughts down below, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.